Welcome back everybody on a Friday morning. How did you sleep last night? You know, earlier this week, we told you about a study that found that people who use melatonin long-term may face a higher risk of heart failure. So this morning, we're taking a deeper dive into what this means for you because so many people take melatonin. So Dr. Kash Himatpour with UT Health Houston is joining us live this morning. Good morning, doctor. How are you? Good morning. I'm well. Thank you Did very you much. Did you sleep well? I slept well. Thank you. <laughs> so many people I know have started yeah. taking melatonin, especially recently. I know a lot of people who might give it to their children. How worried should we be about this study? Well, the findings of this study are preliminary. Uh, so uh, let me explain. Melatonin is a hormone produced by our brain. Mm -hmm. So the levels rise when it gets dark, signaling our body to go to sleep. The researchers at SUNY University looked at uh, electronic health records uh, within a large international database called Trinet X. Mm -hmm. And they reviewed five years worth of data in people with uh, primary diagnosis of chronic insomnia. They found that the rate of heart failure increases by 90%. 90? 90%. So this raises a safety concern. However, uh, the findings are preliminary. These types of abstracts uh, are not final till they get published in a peer-reviewed journal article. And then again, it's a causation issue, right? So these, exactly. are, these are people at risk because of, potentially because of the chronic sleep deprivation, maybe not because of the melatonin. That is correct. Okay, so this is, is always correct. like one of those, we need more information, but how could this impact the heart? I mean, what is that connection? The connection is that uh, the melatonin may disrupt the metabolic signaling in the heart muscle. Mm. Also in uh, animal studies, it's shown that large doses of melatonin can disrupt the heart muscle contractility. Okay, so while we wait for more information, more studies, more research, are there certain groups of people who should be extra careful with melatonin right now? Absolutely. Individuals okay. who already have a diagnosis of congestive heart failure should be extra cautious. If they have sleep issues, they need to consult their cardiologist regarding taking. Okay, so if you are somebody who takes melatonin and you feel like that's the only way you can sleep, do you have any other approaches that could help everybody that we know are safe that you could recommend? Of course, uh, before going to another medication, uh, sleep hygiene is a key. You know, no screen time one hour before bedtime, no heavy meals or uh, coffee six hours before bedtime, and don't use your, re uh, your, your basically bedroom for work, mm -hmm. only for sleeping. And if it doesn't work, then consult your primary care physician. Yeah, because you said at the beginning of this interview something that was interesting, which is it's the darkness that triggers that hormone, Correct. right, in our bodies. And so we have to remember, and I know that it's difficult for so many people out there, but especially when it comes to our kids, um, start with the darkness and make sure that the screens are out of the rooms. Make sure that those yeah. the lights need to be out, right? I mean, I have yeah. kids that like to sleep with a lot of lights on. That's not a great N idea. No, that, that may disrupt the sleep cycle mm -hmm. with the same mechanism. So the, the lights should be off okay. about an hour before or dimmed. Well, doctor, we always appreciate all the insight that you have. Of and of course, I know that you're going to let us know when that new research trickles in and, and we start to get more Definitely. information about this. Thank you. Thank you.